Before I started this build, I spent a lot of time sealing the holes in the truck bed with silicone and buying some uh, weather stripping that goes around the tailgate to prevent dust and water from getting in. So I spent a lot of time designing all the smaller pieces and then assembling them all together to create the final box. Here's the first shot in the back of the truck. I just cut out the holes to secure it. It's really important to secure the battery, especially when you're off-roading and there's a lot of bouncing and jostling. I have the isolator here and then the fuse for the battery positive bolted on this wall here. That way the cable just comes in through the isolator to the positive, I mean to the fuse down here, and then to the positive, and then this guy, which is going to feed power down there, it's going to come off the positive, the red, I'm going to go through that fuse, I'm going to drill a hole in the back wall there, I'm going to route sleeving down there. I like welding cable because it's very flexible and easy to work with in tight spaces. This piece just popped right out. Running. And you can see that the light is on on the isolator. So that means the alternator is charging the battery. This one turns on at I think 13.3 volts. So with the truck running, I don't know, I'm a voltmeter there, I guess it's saying it's okay. And that's my positive wire coming in from under the truck. Gone through this really nifty uh, fuse holder that I got, 200 amp fuse, positive battery. It's really compact. I like uh, like using that. And that's kind of where it goes into the truck bed. I don't know if you can see that. I made my own gasket for it to poke through. Like I said, that's just storage. The cables run behind the storage to here which is where I have uh, the fuse panel, uh, inverter, and then all the wiring for these plugs here. Kind of see it a little better there maybe if I zoom out. That box is just for storage and it just protects the, um, you know, just protects all these cables back here. So I can still use this as 
a nice storage space without getting tangled in the cables. That just screws on. And here again I'm just showing my construction method whereby I made all these little sub-assemblies before finally assembling the entire box. It takes a lot of um, pre-planning and um, you know measure twice, cut once. This was all done with pencil and paper, a circular saw, and basic hand tools. Again everything is glued together and nailed together with finishing nails. It's very sturdy and um, will hold up to a lot of abuse. I'm just showing how everything fits pretty tightly against the truck bed, especially with that back trim piece. It creates a tight fit so no small items kind of fall behind and get lost. Thanks a lot for watching. This project was really fun to make and uh, even more fun to use and enjoy. I do a lot of camping out of this truck and I even have a truck tent that I can use to extend the camping area.